Hello everyone, it's North with Rocket Fuel Capital. Today I'm going to talk about DAV Network. Our community at Rocket Fuel, full disclosure, has invested in DAV Network uh, quite heavily and I'm going to tell you why we're excited about this project. So without further ado, uh, our disclaimer, standard stuff, pause this and read it if you want, but do your own research. Uh, this is intended to be for educational purposes only. Uh, do not construe this as financial advice. We are not financial advisors. This is not investment advice. You know the drill. Um, I'm not going to go into who we are. I'll save that for the end uh, for those that don't know. So let's dive right into it. DAV.network uh, is their website. DAV, as it's stated, is a blockchain-based transportation platform. Uh, they enable vehicles to discover, communicate, and transact with one another using DAV tokens. Um, and there's certainly uh, a lot of information online that you can go find out. In fact, the CEO himself gives a really good presentation on stage in an event uh, fairly recently that's available on YouTube, and I recommend you check it out. He explains this, uh, what, their, what his vision is uh, quite well in, in probably about 10 minutes. And so um, just to sort of summarize that uh, in the best way I can, and I'm, he definitely will do a better job than me, so I recommend watching it. But you know the idea of DAV is to create a, a framework for vehicles, uh, mostly autonomous vehicles, to be able to communicate with one another. And um, as we are moving quickly into a world where um, you know self-driving vehicles, drones, uh, etc., uh, are, are starting to become more and more popular, and will most likely be um, the most common means of transportation. Um, having a protocol for these uh, vehicles to interact with consumers uh, is pretty pretty critical. Uh, at least Dab believes so, and they actually have cited a number of examples. I believe it's in Sweden or perhaps Switzerland. I forgot. I actually watched the CEO's video again, but um, he talks about how there's already shuttle buses that are completely self-driven that um, shuttle like sixty thousand people. Uh, already today and it's very successful and so this is already happening we've heard a lot about how uber and possibly lyft are investing heavily in this google has a self-driving car uh, definitely the future is on the horizon and dav is trying to get ahead of the curve by interestingly integrating blockchain technology with this new trend and so uh, let's dive into it a bit more i'm not really going to go through the whole website um, but I will touch on a few highlights. First of all, let's get into the team now that you understand at least the high level of what they're trying to do. Um, these are some of their advisors. So pretty fantastic that they have the former CTO of General Motors as an advisor, Dr. Alan Messer. Uh, and so, you know, as one can imagine, uh, Dr. Messer could be instrumental in helping them align with GM and other um, leading manufacturers to integrate their technology with um, with vehicles. Um, they've also got Dr. Horowitz, who is a um, you know a, a pretty well known aerospace um, uh, gentleman that worked at you know astronaut basically that worked at NASA and. Um, this guy, Internet Infrastructure Advisor Jay, so he's a serial entrepreneur, investor, founded Equinix, and so you know Jay's got the entrepreneurial tech uh, expertise to help advise them. Um, and the list goes on. I mean, they've got some pretty fantastic advisors, and quite a few of them that cover the enterprise space, like SAP. They cover the blockchain space, like Ethereum. They've got two, um, fan, you know, really strong people from the Ethereum space. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The founding team um, consists of uh, primarily these top th four guys here that are the C-level staff and um, they've got a number of accolades as well that, that put them in a strong position to make this happen and I'll tell you in a bit why I like this team but in addition to the founders um, they've already built out a pretty pretty strong um, and a pretty good size team to achieve what they're trying to do, which is pretty ambitious. Um, you know, they've already got a, a good you know 15 or so people, and uh, you know 
certainly they're going to be tripling the size of that um, when, once they have the funding from the conclusion of their ICO, which is already underway and, and proving very successful. Um, so let's get into um, a bit more coverage. So ICO drops, definitely a, a site that I um, frequent and I look to them as well to, to understand what, what they think about um, current ICOs. So they're reporting anyhow that they've already raised 11 million of the 38 and this has all been in private sales so far. Um, they haven't kicked off their crowd sale yet as far as I'm aware. And so there's a bit on the token metrics. I'll cover all this in a bit, but they don't really have any ratings like they sometimes do. I think it's still a bit early for them. Um, let's see what we've got here. Track ICO has rated them. They're rating them a 5.0, which I think is their strongest rating. And so I was really, I looked at this earlier and was pretty excited to see that they're rating them very high. Um, C rate distribution. Yeah, it's getting a little bit complicated. But if you look at the way they rate uh, DAV Network compared to a lot of the others, I think five is like a perfect score. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure of that. So they're rating them quite high. And uh, what else? So go to their Twitter account. A couple of things that I think is really cool here. Um, these guys are super transparent. I've actually never seen a company do this. Surely other companies do this. But what they do is what they call the Daily DAV, and it's a vlog, a video blog where they simply pass a video camera around some of the leaders in the team and they have them each give like a 30 second uh, clip, sort of a summary of what they're doing for the day. And it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, to have the leaders of the team be accountable to a video blog every single day and then obviously someone sort of stitches it together and then publishes online is, is really awesome. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, it definitely helps address a fear or a concern that investors may have when they're looking at, um, you know, a new team and what are they doing with the money? Are these guys really focused? Are they, are there priorities and objectives? You know, does it resonate with me? Things like that. And so I've watched several of their, their video logs or daily, daily dabs as they call them. They've done 84 of them already. So they've, they're definitely in a cadence, uh, you know, a good rhythm here and they they've been really insightful. So Definitely, you know, encourage you to check that out and get a firsthand look on what these guys are doing. Um, <clears throat> now let's get to our analysis. So um, I'm really happy to report, and this is why we've uh, chosen to support this project, that we gave these guys a 98%. I can't even think of the last time they, we've given a project that high of a percentage. And so let's break it down. Um, First, in a summary, and you can see um, the way we do our analysis is we do a base score. So the base score was 93%, and I'll get into the metrics behind that. Uh, but then as we, over time, learn more about the project, it could be good news, uh, which we call FOMO, or bad news, which we call FUD, then it, it could impact our base score, and positively or negatively. And that also helps us sort of, you know, trend out? Are, are we, are we kind of going in a positive direction or a negative direction with this particular project? And, and as anybody that tracks ICOs is aware of, you, you know, either they get stuck in FUD and they start sort of fighting it and it starts to go downhill, um, or there just isn't a lot of negative news out there. And, and in fact, there may be more and more positive news that becomes enlightened over time as you look closer at it. And that's definitely the case that we found with DAV Network. And so you can see that the trend as we learned more, uh, moved upward. Um, but let's get into some of the specifics. So in summary, our FOMO factors are these guys are first to market. So they have a lead position. That's always a, a, you know really good. Um, instead of a fast follower and having a lot of competition, there doesn't seem to be, at least in our research so far, anybody else that's really uh, blazing the trail in this space. Uh, they have a CTO of GM as an advisor, which I touched on earlier. So definitely a strategic move there. They are in a growing automotive trend right now, so that's awesome. They've got what I consider an all-star team with backgrounds in the best possible fields to make DAV a reality. They're, um, they've also got all-star advisors, two of the best Ethereum developers, uh, C-levels from GM, Equinix, SAP, UPS, Bancor, NASA. I mean, really fantastic team. Working product, um, and by the way, um, I found it funny that Ian Bellina stated that the team could be better. Um, come on, man. 
take a deeper look. Working product with rising ambitious development community around it, kind of like Ethereum. Um, the product's already, um, we've already looked closely at it and, and it's, it's already, uh, it's not a white paper project. And uh, what they're doing is, is, is definitely pretty ambitious and it looks like the community supporting them um, has a lot of momentum behind it. <clears throat> Blockchain is the perfect technology for fully auto autonomous and trustless transportation. That's our opinion, um, but uh, we feel it resonates really well. Autonomous vehicles are undeniably coming into our lives, and DAV will make that a reality even sooner. Um, so what else? Cons. Um, might take time for this investment to turn. Okay, so sure, that makes sense, right? Um, they're riding a trend that's going to have to take some time to come to light. Uh, over, you know, and, and the longer that takes, the longer it may take for them to realize their vision, right? Um, so DAV sounds, you know, kind of futuristic and interesting, but I don't think their autonomous vehicles are, are real commonplace yet. So when do you expect this to happen, right? Like that's, that's one, definitely one viewpoint that could um, be considered FUD or concerning. Um, the counter is in Switzerland today, and this was what I was looking for earlier. It's not Sweden, it's Switzerland. Autonomous shuttle tra transports 60,000 people. It's here. Uh, drones are delivering things already today. Um, Uber, Lyft, etc. are moving there into the space now. Um, yet they are, they all have isolated networks. So DAV has an open protocol that defines how vehicles and users communicate and discover each other and a token which they, they transact with each other with. And so instead of all of these different, um, you know, companies having their own isolated networks, what DAV is promoting would sort of level the playing field and make it, um, uh, you know, better, right? And so getting into some of our uh, underlining stats both quantitative and qualitative that makes up our base score of 93 percent uh, we look at the the tech type so it's what we call automotive infrastructure and we rate infrastructure as as high uh, so we gave it a full point for that their token metrics we feel are strong um, and even though others have stated otherwise um, the price point of the coin is good the uh, the hard cap is reasonable. I think one could argue that the number of tokens outstanding and the total supply that they are making available during the ICO uh, are not ideal. Um, so a lot of tokens, but it's under a billion. Uh, and there's plenty of ICOs that have done well with over a billion tokens. So uh, I think there's, there is definitely... Um, in, you know, evidence supporting, even though this is on the high side, that it's 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 adequate. Um, and then the total supply, you know, we like to see 70% um, given out during the ICO, and they're not harboring a lot of the tokens. Um, so that, you know, they got dinged on a little bit. Um, but their market cap, not terrible. Um, in fact, kind of in the sweet spot we'd expect. So overall, token metrics seem, seem reasonable. Um, they've got a solid score for working prototype. The team got a solid score. Their advisors got a solid score. The vision and idea got a little bit less than a perfect score because it's riding a trend that's not quite mainstream yet. Um, in fact, very much not mainstream yet. But uh, we believe that they're gonna they're gonna ride right into that in their timing, um, maybe a little bit ahead of time. But we think it's uh, it's good. So we dinged them a little bit for that. But as far as the vision and idea, it's 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 really pretty solid. The community behind them. We didn't ding them for this. We just gave them the full two, mo two points, assuming their community will grow fast. I'm actually curious what their community looks like now because when we first started um, engaging them, they didn't have many. Um, I don't even didn't even have a count here. Uh, but now they've got 9,100 members, so they're growing fast. I mean, they literally were under a thousand when we first found out about them. Uh, so that's great to, to hear. Um, need blockchain? Absolutely. Great blockchain use cases. Um, they definitely solve a problem. Is there competition? Not that we're aware of. It makes them first to market. Customers, traction? Not yet. They do have a working product and um, they're making strides here, but I don't believe they have any working customers yet. But frankly, that's that's pretty common. We still ding... Uh, ICOs for that because we prefer to see that they've got already proven product market fit. Um, but due to their alliances and their advisors, we don't have a lot of concern here. Um, code review, their their communication protocols are already available and although still in development, they already show a degree of professionalism and seri seriousness that so many ICOs still lack. This is 
from our own review. Uh, source code available on GitHub shows that development started around six months ago and is already showing good progress with over 100 contributors now. Their testnet went live in December last year. So it's, it's fantastic to see an ICO that, that that's that far along in contrast to, to so many these days that are really just raising money when they haven't proven anything yet and they're simply a, a, a white paper. So um, give them a ton of credit for that. And, and further, having over 100 contributors right now, uh, these are uh, people that are out there you know, helping code the product, test it, etc., shows that they've got a ton of support. Um, this is a, a novel approach that we've created in our ICO analysis where we basically add or subtract a point or two as we learn more about them over time. And so everything I just showed you was a summary of our 93% base score, but we've been able to give them an additional 5% for good news and, and literally no negatives. We haven't uncovered really anything that's, that's painted bad light on them. And those five pieces are primarily they've continued to attract more people. And so as we were um, paying attention to them, they, they brought on a NASA advisor. They um, brought on the serial entrepreneur as an advisor. They brought on the lead Ethereum um, developer, this guy from SAP. And um, we'd never seen a company do this daily video log where the leaders of their team explain what their priorities are for the day. And we just thought that was a serious commitment and accountability and transparency. We really absolutely love it. So we gave them a little credit for that. So with all that said, really excited about DAV Network. Um, certainly we feel this is a long-term investment. So um, do, you know, don't get into this if you're looking to do a flip. There may be flip potential, but that's not really what we're looking at this for. This is a long-term investment in the autonomous vehicle trend. If you believe in that and you see it coming and you're willing to sit on this for 18 to 24 months is my guess, you should see uh, a healthy return on DAV network as they uh, begin to branch out. Again, this is not financial advice. This is only our opinion, but we're pretty excited about what we're seeing with this, uh, this project. With that said, who are we? So Rocket Fuel Capital is a global volunteer-based community. We're passionate about fueling blockchain innovation. Our members now include over 150 advisors and investors located across six continents. Our contribution to blockchain is really simply we speak at events, we produce media and content like this at you know no cost just to help the community. We manage a, a pretty large blockchain fund, um, about 60,000 Ethereum that we plan on investing this year. And, and we really speak out about any scams or hacks that we feel are damaging our industry uh, because we're really passionate about it. And you can learn more about us on our website, which is rocketfuel.capital. Um, if you are someone that also enjoys fueling this innovation, this space, whether it's through advising or contributing Ethereum, you're welcome to join us and apply on our site. There's a, a form you can fill out. Um, or if you're an ICO that's looking for support, um, we'd be happy to talk about how we can help fuel your growth. Um, you can also learn more on um, my YouTube channel as one of the lead analysts. A um, little bit more, we're global, so we literally have, um, as I stated, members over about six different continents scattered all over the world, which is, makes it really fun and interesting. Um, another advantage that we have in our group, um, at least for contributors, is we tend to get into a lot of projects early stage in the private sales um, uh, stage that, that others don't. Uh, so as you can see, you know, Blue Zell, Dev Network, Ochain, Icon, Origin Protocol, um, you know, and there's more uh, that are come upcoming that I can't talk about. Um, you know, when other uh, other communities were weren't able to achieve allocations, we were, and it's it's primarily due to the fact that we've got a, a different proposition. Um, I spent 20 years in Silicon Valley, and um, you know, what we're able to offer in fueling blockchain innovation resonates well with these ICOs. Um, anyhow. Um, thanks for your attention today. Uh, hopefully you found this valuable. Uh, please uh, smash the likes and uh, follow us for more coverage. We will continue to be offering uh, more of our analysis uh, as the days come. Thank you.